So, what does this activation of light called rewriting the history of the world actually accomplish? First, let me repeat the activation. It goes like this. Spirit to team, optimize and rewrite the history of the world for the all through free will. That's the activation. And so the question has been asked, what does this actually do? Well, as you know from the research of quantum physicists, uh, each moment of the now spins off endless, that we experience in the now, spins off endless possible worlds of choices. What Tom Kenyon calls um, existing in the astral plane, the sphere of all possibilities. And uh, because the astral plane, what we are now multi-diming into, um, the astral plane is the, the, um, the stuff of which the third dimensional reality is made. It's, it's like the, the astral matter is, is, is the template for the third dimensional reality. So within it exists the possibility of creating all kinds of constructs in the third dimensional reality. Okay. And um, of this, for each moment of like of free will choice on this free will planet, are spun off um, endless possibilities, uh, endless realities, endless alternate worlds for each of us. Okay. Now, amongst all those worlds, our own um, awareness typically is, uh, for the typical person, is only in one world, okay? And it is that world where uh, everything matters to us. It is that world where our souls can clear. Uh, the other realities need to, to be transformed. Um, but while our awareness is on this reality, it's not transforming those realities. Okay, those realities still exist for the people to whom we were once karmically connected, who choose to place their awareness on those realities. <clears throat> In those worlds, our our presence is more figurative than true. In other words, for them, it appears that our presence is there, and our souls have the largesse, the 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 greatness to allow that um, vision to be there for them, but our awareness is here in this reality. Okay, so for those people who choose to be in those other alternate realities, those denser alternate realities, slowly but surely. Uh, the the awareness of all the other people apparently present in their hologram will be transferred to the alternate worlds um, which enact the higher energies. And there will come a time for them when their hologram is um, actually devoid of awareness except for their own. And at that point it is likely, or at some prior point, it is likely that they will switch switch up, and 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 move out of that reality into something more true. You know what I mean? So, so that is just the case. Like today, you you might be walking around, say, on the streets of of, of a town, and you will notice that quite a few people don't seem to actually be there. Where are they? Where are these people? Okay, these people are in a different alternate reality, and what you see is a marker for their presence in multi-dimensional space. Okay, and and for you, if you are on the strongly into the ascension path, you may find many people who are opting down at this moment. Okay, all right. So in the same way. They will see you in their physical reality, but they'll they'll feel no true essence of you there. 
they won't feel a need to communicate with you. They won't, they won't see uh, like a karmic uh, like pull. They won't, um, they won't, you might as well not exist for them, you know. You're just like scenery in their world, in their alternate world, because, because your awareness is in this alternate world, this higher alternate world. And vice versa, there are those that are much more um, refined in energy, say, than, than us. And those people um, see us in the same way as we see these other people. You know, it, it, in other words, the, the, um, the hologram is devised so ingeniously for all humankind that it fills every awareness need. Um, so what happens when we rewrite history, when we use that affirmation of light? We're instructing the hologram that, that we wish to engage in the, the highest possible light for considering the state of our soul clearing. And the, high, the best, the optimum scenario for further soul clearing, you know. And so the minute we do that, First, you have to get the notion that it is possible, okay, because it is possible. And very few people in the world today understand that. You have to know you are a God creator. That is how God created you, as a co-creator with his divine will of this reality. So, anyway... Um, so you have faith that you can do that. And next you say the affirmation of light and uh, immediately your, uh, your history is rewritten and the history of the world is rewritten and you step into that optimized history. So you can still hear whatever was going on that bothered you, that caused you to say the activation of light. You can still see it maybe, but it recedes into the background and, it, and then fades away. It's amazing, really. My, my thought on this is that activations of light for rewriting history are a lot like timeline jumping. In fact, I would classify them in that category. Um, today, I ran across a blog or by a person who has been doing um, dimensional jumping, and, or no, dimensional merging. And that is very interesting how some people are developing that ability. Um, the, the, I forget the dimensions they were merging were amazing. And it was just, uh, you know, on the sp a scale of grandeur far beyond anything I had envisioned before. And on the other hand, I got the feeling that all we need is the understanding that we can do this kind of dimensional merging and then we can do it. It takes the remembering, you know. Same thing like the timeline merging and the, uh, the timeline uh, jumping and the uh, history rewrites, the same thing. All we have to do is to have the faith that it is possible. And all of these, um, all of these activations are part of the new um, skills we're developing as co-creators of New Earth. See, um, uh, so so after we learn the one, we may take up the next. You know, and and so our understanding will be um, become greater and greater as time goes on, and the understanding of all humanity will do so too.